Hey guys, this is Killer Graphics here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a broker effect inside of Photoshop. Um, on the screen right now is a background I made the other day with broker on it. Um, it's these circular, dotted circular spheres, whatever you want to call them, blurred, unblurred circles in the background. And this is a really simple and nice abstract effect you can add to any, any of your designs if you uh, wish. So how is this created? Well it's pretty simple which is why I use it so much because all it takes is a quick edit of a brush and you're pretty much there. So to start off with what I usually like if I'm going for a background like this I usually start off with some sort of image um, and here's examples of brocade almost forgot. Um, you get brocade in photography because that's where it comes from. It's basically when uh, light points get blurred out by the lens and they create these, not always sphere, but mostly sphere, uh, blurred spheres of color, basically. And it looks really, really nice. And obviously, you generated ones here. Like, where is it? There's a really nice one here. Like, that one's really nice. And you notice none of them the same. But, you know, you've got ones with love hearts there. I think there's one with butterflies somewhere. But yeah, there's one butterflies. But you see, you get all kinds of design, and you can add so many things and do so many things with it. it it's it never looks the same, which is why I like it so much. So, uh, what I start off with is some sort of background I can blur to just create a simple gradient. Um, it saves time. It usually looks better as well than just manually creating a colorful gradient. And the one I used in the image I have was this one. But for tutorial purposes I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use this one. No I'm not. It's a bit too small because I'm on a 1080p screen and this is a lot smaller than 1080p. Um, I'd have to... Eh, it wouldn't really matter. It shouldn't really matter because we're going to blur it anyway so we can stretch it as much as we want. So we're just going to copy and paste it. Enlarge it. Hold in shift and alt while increasing while pulling outwards keeps it in proportion and now we have our image in here we're just going to go to filter, blur, gaussian blur and 100 or 50 is usually a good way a good uh, preset to roll with, I'm going to go to the 100 and now what we can do to enhance that is go to adjustments up in image adjustments uh, brightness contrast and just increase the contrast a little bit maybe even the brightness you hear that just adds way more colour so there you go, you've got like a simple gradient. Some images are going to work better than others. Uh, this one looks alright. I think the one I used here is probably better, but we're just going to roll with it. Um, so how you create brocade? This is basically how you do it. You pick a brush. Usually I'd roll with just these ones for starting off with circular ones, the two circular ones that are presets. Uh, I'm just going to go with the full circle one uh, uh, with no with the hardness all the way up so it's just a it's basically just a circle a sphere and what you do is hit F5 and if F5 doesn't do anything for you go to window brush and before we start doing that I'm just going to create a new layer and when you're on the brush this brush tab we're going to tick shape dynamics scattering and transfer and on shape dynamics we're going to turn the size jit all the way up with control off on scattering we're going to have it all the way up as well with both axes both axes ticked um, if you want more circles jammed in you can bring the count up as you can see it gives you a little preview I usually keep that default there's usually plenty but like I said it's all up to you you could go absolutely crazy uh, you create some sort of wicked texture with that I guess and then opacity and flow jet I usually have all the way up and this basically just uh, makes some spheres less opaque than others so it just brings variation and that is your basic setup there obviously after I've showed you you can mess with these settings to get any effect you're looking for I'm going to increase the size obviously size matters whatever the size is is basically dictates the largest brocade sphere that can come out of your brush um, because you'll notice although this is a 200 pixel brush not all of them are going to be 200 because we've increased the scattering and the size jit which basically makes some small some big it just it completely just generates it randomly as you brush across the screen 
like so. Make sure it's white. And then we go across, you got this brocade effect. And now once you've got that, you can obviously press control Z go back and get something to you like. And this is what I mean, you can't create something the same. I have this, if I do the exact same stroke, you'll notice it's completely different. And I can add it on top. And I really like this one here. I don't know why. Um, and basically now what you do is you set the blending mode to overlay. And that just lets the colour of the background leak through your brocade. And it just makes it look really nice. Obviously you don't have to do that. Um, you can also make it black. You can make these spheres darker. That's a completely different style there. Um, I usually roll with white. And what you can do is you can then behind that have the blurred circles. You can have the same shape just for tutorial purposes. You basically just add layer upon layer of brocade. That's basically how I made this background. It was just a, uh, a setup of six layers, three being uh, full circles, um, and I go from small, medium, large, and then the other three were blurred circles, and the opacities were slightly different on each one. And as you can see, you get these, and if you set that to overlay as well, it also leaks through the top brocade because overlay is such a fucking sick blending mode um, and that alone there is a background and if I try to recreate that yes I could get something that looks similarish in colour but the brush would make the circles just go in a completely different direction so this is why I like this effect so much it's so easy um, the only thing I've got left to add on to this other than obviously it's just basically experimentation doing different things you know added more add in like you can add, add you can add more than six like in this example here which I'm going I'm just going to turn everything off and show you the six layers individually but this is this is large large blurred and you'd notice the opacity is only 25 percent and as they get smaller the opacity goes up then we got medium 50 percent then we got small 100 percent and you notice I've just drawn a line through the middle of the screen holding shift because I wanted it to go across the screen that's where I wanted the focal point of it to be so you can obviously control kind of where the brocade goes in a sense um, and obviously we've got large solid circles medium oh no that's that's medium also 50% it basically just copies the background ones but as a solid circle and you got the medium ones so you could add more you could add less you could change the opacities round if I change the opacities around on this, so I basically just reverse what I have here, you'll notice I get a entirely different image. Oops. 50, change this to 100. Looks similar, but it's not the same. And it looks just as good. Uh, probably not look just as good if I had everything back on. Yeah, you've got kind of a different design. If I just drop this down and this, from that to that, it looks similar but it ain't the same. And all I did was change the opacity on my layers. So you can see where the variation of this comes in. Um, and the only thing I can add on to this is creating your own, having your custom shapes. You don't have to use circles, um, you can use triangles. I have one here. I'm just going to show you what's triangle looks like uh, if we had triangles now oh we got add our when you add it when you select a new brush you will have to do the settings again you could save a preset uh, I find it pretty simple though just to go through and there you go you've got some triangles uh, with triangles though you usually want to add angle jet which is in uh, shape dynamics this just basically makes the orientation random as well obviously with circles that doesn't matter because they're going to look the same in any orientation but with triangles it adds some really sick effects so to create a custom uh, shape brush uh, tutorial within a tutorial here tutorial section um, we're going to create a new uh, a new document uh, around 500 by 500 pixels it's completely up to you uh, 500 by 500 is more than enough brocade. If you're doing really large scale, like 4K wallpapers, you maybe need to go up to about 2,000 to 2,000 maybe. So your uh, brushes are not blurred when you scale them up. 
but for this example this is a lot easier um, we're just going to go to the triangular shape in the shapes tool we're going to center this if you didn't know how to center something perfectly without you know adding ruler lines and stuff you basically just go on the move tool hit control a which selects all on the layer you want to be uh, centered you basically hit the second and fourth tab uh, button in this little group here and basically that will just align its center perfect for you and then we're going to change this to black it, I don't think it really matters what color you have it but I always change it to black and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and then we're going to go define brush preset oh I hit pattern there and then you can name it hit ok and then what that will do is when you go back to your brush tool on any document it will be at the bottom for you waiting for you so that is how you create brocade um, it's pretty simple and it looks amazing and obviously the more you experiment the more designs and the more tricks and stuff you can come up with um, I could obviously talk for another 10 minutes about things I do um, to make it look different and you know things you can add on top of it that work well with it but if you want more brocade tutorials uh, maybe you want to see more some more tips and tricks on brocade uh, leave in a comment or yeah leave a comment or tweet me uh, other than that thanks for watching and I uh, hope you learned something new today peace out